Yen crash, Yuan surprised Serge explained. Picture this. You're strapped into a roller coaster. It climbs slowly, building anticipation. Suddenly it plunges, leaving your stomach behind. That's the currency market. One day your dollar buys a pile of yen. The next, not so much. Recently the Japanese yen took a dive while the Chinese yuan soared. Why the wild ride? Buckle up, we're about to find out. Remember that feeling when you built a card tower as a kid? Each card placed with such precision your hand steady, your breath held. You could almost feel the tension in the air, the delicate balance that could be disrupted by the slightest breeze or the smallest tremor, hours of meticulous work, and then crash in an instant. All that effort, all that concentration gone. The cards scatter, and you're left staring at the ruins of what was once a towering achievement. The Japanese yen, once mighty, recently experienced a similar tumble. It was a currency that stood strong for years a symbol of economic resilience. But just like that card tower, it too faced a sudden and dramatic fall. Years of economic policies, like keeping interest rates super low, created a fragile structure. The Bank of Japan's strategy was to stimulate growth to keep the economy moving. But this approach, while effective in the short term, built a foundation that was not as stable as it seemed. When global wind shifted, the yen felt the pressure. Why did this happen? The world economy is like a complex ecosystem where changes in one part can have ripple effects elsewhere. The yen, despite its strength, was not immune to these global forces. Think of it like a game of tug of war. On one side you have Japan's central bank, pulling with all its might to keep the economy buoyant. On the other side you have global economic trends pulling in the opposite direction, creating a constant tension. On one side, Japan's central bank trying to boost its economy, they implemented policies to keep interest rates low, hoping to encourage spending and investment. It was a delicate balancing act, much like placing those cards one by one. On the other global trends, pushing in the opposite direction, these trends included rising interest rates in other countries, which made their currencies more attractive to investors. The global financial landscape was shifting, and the yen was caught in the middle. Inflation, that sneaky price hiker, reared its head around the world. Prices for goods and services started to climb, and central banks in other countries responded by raising their interest rates to combat this inflation. This forced other countries to raise their interest rates, making their currencies more attractive. Investors began to move their money to these higher-yielding currencies, leaving the yen behind. Suddenly the yen looked less appealing, and down it went. The once strong and stable currency found itself in a precarious position, much like that card tower vulnerable to the slightest shift in the economic winds. Meanwhile, across the East China Sea, the Chinese Yuan was flexing its muscles. Imagine a dragon, long dormant, sudden. Why awakening with a fearsome roar? That's the Yuan. China's economy, though facing its own challenges, has been steadily growing. This strength, combined with smart policy decisions, gave the yuan a powerful boost. Investors, always on the lookout for a good opportunity, took notice. They saw the yuan as a safe bet in uncertain times. This influx of investment acted like rocket fuel, propelling the yuan to new heights. The dragon, once asleep, was now wide awake and ready to soar. Let's go, we've set the stage. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Now, let's delve into the nitty-gritty. What are these mysterious economic forces that make currencies dance? Imagine a giant seesaw on one end supply on the other demand. When more people want to buy a currency, its value goes up. When demand weakens, the value drops. Interest rates play a big role here. Think of them as the price of money. Higher interest rates in one country attract investors like bees to honey, boosting demand for that currency. Conversely, low interest rates make a currency less appealing, 
Just like a sale at your favorite store draws in crowds, it's all about incentives. Interest rates. The invisible hand. Interest rates are often described as the invisible hand that guides the economy. They are a crucial tool used by central banks around the world to control economic growth and inflation. Remember that game we talked about earlier? The one with Japan's central bank and global trends. It's a perfect example of how interest rates can influence not just a single economy, but the entire global financial landscape. Interest rates are the rope. Imagine a tug of war game where different countries are pulling on this rope, trying to attract investors and stimulate their economies. Japan, hoping to stimulate its economy, kept its rates super low for years. By doing this, they made borrowing cheaper, encouraging businesses to invest and consumers to spend more. This strategy was aimed at boosting economic activity and avoiding deflation. This worked for a while, but then inflation hit the global scene. Inflation is like a hidden tax that erodes the purchasing power of money. When prices start rising too quickly, it can destabilize economies and hurt consumers. Other countries like the United States started raising their rates to combat rising prices. The Federal Reserve, for instance, increased interest rates to make borrowing more expensive, thereby cooling down economic activity and curbing inflation. Suddenly, investors could get a better return on their money elsewhere. Higher interest rates in the U.S. meant that investors could earn more by putting their money in American assets rather than in Japanese ones. It's like choosing between a savings account that gives you 0.1% interest and one that offers 5%. Which would you pick? Naturally, you'd go for the higher return, and that's exactly what investors did. Naturally, investors flocked to currencies with higher interest rates, leaving the yen behind. This led to a depreciation of the yen, making Japanese exports cheaper, but also increasing the cost of imports, which could lead to other economic challenges for Japan. So the invisible hand of interest rates doesn't just affect one country; it has a ripple effect across the globe. Central banks must carefully balance their policies to manage their own economies while considering the global impact. It's a delicate dance, one that requires constant vigilance and adjustment. In the end, interest rates are more than just numbers. They are powerful tools that shape the economic destiny of nations. Understanding their role helps us grasp the complexities of the global financial system and the interconnectedness of our world. Global trade, riding the waves, but wait, there's more. Currency values aren't just about interest rates. Global trade, that massive exchange of goods and services, also plays a crucial role. Imagine ships laden with cars, electronics, and all sorts of products crisscrossing the globe. Each transaction influences the value of the currencies involved. When a country exports more than it imports, its currency tends to strengthen. It's like earning more money than you spend; your wallet gets fatter. Conversely, if a country imports a lot, its currency might weaken. Think of it as overspending. Your bank account might feel the pinch. The intertwined fates of yen and yuan. So what does all this mean for the yen and the yuan? To understand this, we need to delve deeper into the economic landscapes of Japan and China. Their stories are closely intertwined, reflecting the broader dynamics of the global economy. The yen and the yuan are not just currencies; they are symbols of the economic strategies and challenges faced by their respective countries. Japan, heavily reliant on imports, felt the sting of a weak yen. This weakness in the yen means that Japanese businesses and consumers have to pay more for imported goods, which can range from raw materials to everyday consumer products. Imported goods became more expensive, putting pressure on consumers. This increase in prices can lead to inflation, which affects the purchasing power of the average Japanese household. Families find themselves spending more on essentials, leaving less for savings and discretionary spending. On the other hand, China, a manufacturing powerhouse, saw its currency rise, making its exports prissier for the rest of the world. This rise in the yuan can be a double-edged sword. While it signifies a strong economy, it also means that Chinese goods become more expensive for international buyers. This delicate dance between the yen and the yuan highlights the interconnectedness of the global economy.
The fluctuations in these currencies can have far-reaching effects influencing trade balances, economic policies, and even political relations between countries. When one currency moves, it sends ripples across the world, affecting businesses, consumers and investors alike. A stronger yen or yuan can impact global supply chains, alter investment strategies and shift consumer behavior in various markets. It's a complex web, but understanding the basic principles can help us navigate these turbulent financial waters. By keeping an eye on these currencies, we can gain insights into broader economic trends and make more informed decisions in our personal and professional lives. What does the future hold? Ah, the million dollar question. Predicting the future of currency markets is like predicting the weather. You can make educated guesses, but there are always surprises. Will the yen recover? Will the yuan continue its ascent? Only time will tell. Experts are closely. Watching global economic trends, central bank policies, and geopolitical developments for clues. The ongoing war in Ukraine, rising inflation, and supply chain disruptions are just a few factors that could influence the future direction of these currencies. It's a dynamic situation, and staying informed is key. Your turn to weigh in. That's it for our whirlwind tour of the yen's crash and the yuan's surge. I hope you found it insightful and, dare I say, entertaining. Now it's your turn to join the conversation. What are your thoughts on this financial roller coaster? Do you have any questions about the forces at play? Share your insights in the comments below. I'm always eager to hear from my viewers and learn from your perspectives. After all, the world of finance is full of fascinating stories, and who better to explore them with than a community of curious minds? What's next? Before we sign off, let's talk about future topics. The world of finance is vast and ever-changing, and there's always something new to explore. Are you interested in learning more about investing the stock market, or maybe the rise of cryptocurrencies? Let me know what piques your interest in the comments. Your suggestions will help shape future videos and keep the conversation flowing. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and happy investing. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.